They were talking about courage. And I want to boil courage down to this. There's a human tendency to run away from the world. Not to face it, to avoid it, escape from it. That escape can take all kinds of forms. Some religious, perhaps, some dealing with drugs, or simply just not facing what's present in somebody's life. When we think of courage, we probably think of acts of bravery, right? Someone performing some act of bravery in the middle of great danger. And that is a form of courage. When someone runs into a situation that most would run away from. But perhaps that's a symbol for what courage is in all of our life. It's this radical strategy to embrace yourself and the people in your life and the world in which you live. To go running to it in all its whatever it is, wonder and terror. All its beauty and perfection and all of its corruption. Something happens when we do that. Like I say, it's a radical step. When we embrace what's imperfect in ourselves, there's a healing that can happen from that. For one thing, we find out that whatever that imperfect thing is that we were judging ourselves for is not who we are. We are that one who's coming for it, to embrace it, not to perpetuate it or condone it, but to embrace it and allow it to change and morph and become a more accurate expression of ourselves. Courage relates, yes, to the bravery of performing brave acts, but it's far more than that. It relates to all facets of our human experience. It's the courage to face what we feel, the courage to think originally for ourselves, not just accepting what somebody else said, or what we hear through the media. It's the courage to truly think. And then it's the courage to be ourselves. To stand as ourselves in the world. Perhaps you have a memory of your first realization that that was possible. I remember mine. I had been living in spiritual community. Not here, but a number of other places out in California most recently. And then I moved to New York City and I got a job in the corporate world working in the financial district for IBM. It was a a radical shift in my life. And I remember that somehow it entered my head that maybe I'll just be myself here and see what happens. Maybe that could go all right. I didn't have any other good strategies about how to be in that situation. I, I, but I just thought maybe I'll just express myself and feel free to be myself. And lo and behold, it was all right. Like I didn't get fired or castigated. Anyway, that was my own little awakening to the power and, and the capacity I had to simply be myself. <laughs> 